this is Chris with SCM Connections, and this is Chain Reaction, where we're going to be talking about some of the latest happenings, news, events, and updates from around the supply chain community, and giving our own thoughts, advice, and some tips and tricks on the matters. So, if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. This week, we're going to be talking about the latest release from SAP of their integrated business planning software, SAP IDP 1908. Now, while there's a slew of great new features in 1908, our senior supply chain analyst Shane Kale has broken down a few of his favorites to tell you about. So, without further ado, here is the SCM Connection's top five favorite new enhancements of SAP IVP 1908. With the 1908 release, a lot has been done around web-based planning to improve collaboration with supply chain partners. In this example, I've set up a planning view for supplier collaboration. I've given my supplier access to my IBP web system so that they can go in and adjust a monthly forecast for planned production receipts. I can use these planned production receipts in my supply optimizer solves and collaborate with my supplier to resolve any discrepancies based on this supplier collaboration view. The new tool tips for key figures is another great feature in the 1908 release. Supply chain planners no longer need to toggle between Excel and the web interface when trying to find details on how a key figure is configured. In the edit planning view, you can now hover over a key figure and the configuration details automatically appear on the screen. As of the 1908 release, planners are now able to perform multi-selection drop-down within a planning view. Let's say I want to drill down by product description and customer description. I can right-click my data, go to drill down, and choose by attribute. And in my strong match, I'll select my product description, and I'll also select my customer description. I'll click OK, and my planning view will automatically recalculate with these attribute levels considered. I can also revert back to my original setup by going to drill down and back. One of the analytics features of this release is chart reference lines. I now have the ability to add reference lines that could be fixed values or reference key figure amounts. In this example, I'm going to add my average consensus demand quantity and reference the consensus demand key figure. I can take a minimum, maximum, or average. I also can choose whether I want a solid or dashed line. And furthermore, I can also choose the color of my chart reference line. So now I have additional visibility into my analytics charts in SAP IBP. In the IBP Excel user interface, a new value-based filter has been added to allow users to remove planning combinations where key figure values are null or zero. In this example, I have family 400 pizza, where the forecasts are zero in all months. If I edit my planning view, I will add a filter called not empty or zero, which says that all selected key figures, if not empty or zero in at least one period from September 2019 to July 2020, will be removed. We'll refresh the planning data. You can see that I'm just left with family 300 yogurt, which has positive forecasts. Thanks everyone for checking out our top five list. Uh, be sure to check the video description for a link to our 1908 blogs and visit us at scmconnections.com slash get smart for more info. Thanks again.